Taurus. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. Welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we're going to pull some messages that are going to help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or that specific somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around till the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, there's one thing that we want to create in your awareness, because again, whatever we focus on, we are going to match and mirror and mimic that energy. So write this down in the comments below right now. Pause and write this down. Everything is working out for me. Everything is working out for me. Write this down. Everything is working out for me. Everything is working out for me. Taurus, beautiful soul. Everything is always working out for you. And you are on your path to reaching the abundance, the stability, and that sense of ease that comes from success and completion. You're on your way there. Currently, you're in the process of building a foundation in your life where you're really deciding what works and what doesn't, what you like to feel or, or, or what you like to do that makes you feel your best and what doesn't, right? Going through the polarity, going through the contrast. So right now you're going to be going through the, the, the touch and go phases. You're going to feel a lot of emotion. You know, you're going to feel those feelings of lack. You're going to feel those feelings of disease. You're going to feel those feelings of, you know, not enoughs, right? But always remember this as we are going through our game of life and we're just going through experiences and we're doing things that we love and we're deciding, I want this and I want that. I want more money. I want a better body. I want more health, whatever it is. We start that starts metabolizing, right? That starts manifesting, right? And it kind of looks like this. So we can't see it. It's not in our sight lines, right? We're pretending time is linear here. It's actually, that's a whole nother story, but anyway, so let's, we're going on our journeys, right? And beyond in the non-physical where we can't see anything, but we can feel it, right? Things are moving around. We can feel it, right? But the problem is that whatever happens is that sometimes when we think a thought and that thought is split in meaning like, I want this, but we split the energy. I want more money, but I've never seen the results of it. I want better health, but I've never been healthy or, but I have this health ailment, whatever it is, right? When we split our energy, it unaligns us from the truth, your truth. And the truth is that whatever we set our focus into, we manifest it into our life. It just cannot be split. We can't have that like, I wish, but you know, it's always like, I love this. I desire it. Thank you, universe. I appreciate you. That's it. And then, you know, be present in our everyday moment, responding to the impulses that we feel in the solar plexus heart chakra region. That's it. So as we go through this game of life and we are wanting to manifest our life and we ask for things, I love this. I would appreciate this. Universe starts operating and working and conspiring on our behalf. And eventually it shows up in our physical form. But when we have a paused or split thought, we, we, we most often stop on our journeys, we pause. And when we are paused, right, even though things are still manifesting and circulating, we are paused, meaning that we feel like things are not progressing. And when that happens, we start to look out at our everyday life, at the what is. Oh my gosh, the what is is not what I want it to be because as we know, we're not, we're not staying here. But when we pause and we look out, it's because we have stopped living an intentional based life or a progressive based life, or we have stopped aligning our thoughts and our actions with the person we wish to become, or we're again speaking in, in that negative th thinking, right? So then when we're paused and we're looking at what is, we end up reflecting backwards because we're what is, and then our frequency drops. And then when our frequency drops, we relate it to something negative in the past, but due to the stored energy in our body. And then we really feel like we're going backwards. But everything, no matter what, is always working out for you. And all we want you to do is when you're in those moments of adversity, when you're in those moments of feeling lack in your life, when you're in those moments where you're looking up and out into your world and thinking, I don't like the movie that's playing back at me, you want to remember yourself. Everything is working out for me. It's not going to be like this forever. I'm manifesting the life of my dreams and I'm on my way. And all you have to do then is align your choices and the actions that you take in your day to day with the feeling of how you want your life to feel like. It doesn't matter about the surface stuff, right? It's like if you go to buy a dog, you don't want to buy it for how it looks 
because then you're going to end up buying a Husky and realize a Husky needs copious amounts of exercise and mental stability. And you like to sit at your desk and have a quiet life. And then what's going to happen? You're going to have a dog that's destructive, that cries at you, that yells at you, right? That's, that's what's going to happen. So you don't want to look at the surface. Don't look at the things. Look, feel the feeling of how you want to feel. What kind of dog would you want to complement your life? What kind of, what kind of job would you like to complement the life you want? What kind of abundance and money would you like to complement what you want to do in your life, right? Feel that feeling because then you're going to attract in the exact scenario, right? And that's what it's about right now because you're on your way, beautiful soul, creating new beginnings for yourself with this full 2.0. It means you're on the start of a journey, but a journey you've already been on, but now it's time to like do other things, right? You're like breaking off into new things, right? Going through that transformational process, right? And you're going to have those moments where you're going to hit that feeling of boredom or maybe feeling a little bit slow, maybe again, feeling that stuckness. Now, when you're in that moment, and maybe, you know, you're like, well, I'm, I'm not really sure how I want to feel yet. I'm not really sure what I want for my lifestyle yet. It hasn't really become, I haven't really experienced enough to know that. And that's fine. At that moment, then you wouldn't want to try to figure it out. You wouldn't want to like go on the internet and be like, well, what kind of house do I want? What kind of job do I want? You wouldn't want to do that because that's just going to confuse you and bring, and bring too much information. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to sit with yourself. That's where you would go and you would reconnect. That's where you would utilize the power of tuning into your own wisdom. And you would want to do this anyway. Like anytime you're in an emotional state, just be still for a minute, right? Be still, sit with yourself, breathe into your heart, because always know that the emotions you feel are going to be on the surface, right? So you're really intense emotions that are going to cause a reaction out of you, right? That you don't want to react from because the emotions are on the surface and your deeper wisdom and truth is just beyond that. So when you're present for your pain, when you sit with those emotions, when you have the realization, you got to breathe through that, right? You got to breathe through that and become very self-aware. Self-aware is everything, right? Because when you hit that moment of, of uncomfortableness, right? Or anger or frustration, you got to remind yourself, what am I focusing on? Am I paying attention to the things in my life that I don't like right now? Because I'm going to match that energy. Ah, uh, I've matched the energy of poverty. Ah, uh, I've matched the energy of lack. I've matched the energy of clients not showing up or you know my body not being the way I want it to be. Whatever it is, I've matched that energy. I can't live here. This isn't abundant. This isn't what I want my life to feel like for the rest of my life. Hell no. <laughs> this, that's, this is a hell no feeling. And so you do not want to react from that. Eat something, yell at somebody, create something. That's not the time to do that. That would be the time for you to, again, breathe, stillness, uh, I was going to say communication. Yes, connect, communication, right? Meditation, right? Maybe some, uh, some frequency healing, listen to some music. Just, just take a pause. Take a minute. Uh, because anytime you react from that surface emotional state, you are basically, you know, it, it, it's like reacting from your emotional state is like, the five-year-old child within you that didn't get what they wanted when they were younger. You know what I mean? And that's not really what our inner child is, by the way. Our inner child has put up with a lot because it, when, we're young, when we're young empaths, we really feel things intensely and we really had no control over our childhoods or what showed up for us, right? We really had no control if our parents got divorced or, or they were yelling all the time or, or kids bullied us. We don't have control over that, but we experienced it. We felt it. We didn't like that and we held it inside of us and that created protective personality, right? That created our defense, defense mechanisms. And so we want to be, we just want to understand that that reaction is that energy coming up to the surface. So we want to acknowledge it. We want to, uh, you know, respect it. We don't want to be hard on it, right? Because that's just pain. That's just wounds from the past, but we also don't want to, we don't want to listen to it. We don't want to go with it, right? We don't want to say, okay, what else screaming child, right? What else wounded child? Because then we're going to stay there. You know what I mean? So the name of the game is to be self-aware, right? The name of the game is to always just be self-aware in that emotional state and to just be observant. What have I been focusing on? What have I just been observing? Because chances are you just mirrored and mimicked that energy and it's just not a frequency that's, that's, who, how you want to feel in your life, right? If you want to feel empowered, then you got to do empowering things to make empowering choices, think empowering thoughts. If you want to feel confident, then you got to make confident choices and think confident thoughts. If you want to feel abundant, you've got to, you know, abundance is a tough one. Cause if we've never experienced that, we're like, well, what does that even feel like? Right? So choose something that you can align with joy, right? What makes you feel joy? Think joyful thoughts, do things that make you feel joy. That's it. 
that's a simple output. Anytime we're in that state where we're attached to an outcome, we're going to feel more emotion coming up. And that's where you'd also want to just be mindful of that. But self-awareness is everything here. Now your angel message for today is there's nothing to worry about. So they are saying to you, you are safe. And this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. And that's all it is, beautiful soul, because you're on your way and you're a natural born leader and you're here to inspire and empower others with your beauty, with your grace, with your powerful energy. And this is who you naturally are, is a leader. So at the end of the day, be the leader for yourself first, right? Harness in your power of focus and uh, trust in your own inner voice. Trust in your ability to not listen and react to your emotional state, but to just sit with it for a minute. Wait for the deeper wisdom to come forward. That is when you become the leader of your own life and making choices that leave you feeling empowered and confident, that's when you start to emit that to the rest of the world and then you transform into that being that you always are, but you're then in that place where you are, others now are ready to come to you. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. Beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you some value. And if you want to watch a really good video, check out these videos.